You guys have all seen it in the movies and heard the talk of the Continent Killer. This ELE event, this massive asteroid that's going to strike Earth at some point. And in all reality, it seems to me that if there's going to be something that devastating, they're not going to announce it to last minute. And if there was something out there that just snuck up, I mean, how are you going to stop anything like that? Just like the one over Russia, Shelabinks. They came from the direction of the sun. And that took, that took place during a time where they were watching another massive object going by, going in the opposite direction. And it did not come from that. But it just went to show that at any given time, something can drop down out of space and they obviously cannot keep track of everything. Now, this article specifically talks about one instance because you hear about the stories all the time. Oh, there's going to be a comet strike here or there. Well, show me a chart. Show me some data at least. If you're going to say that this comet's going to come in and strike Puerto Rico in September and all that, show me some proof. Okay, or just state that it's a vision that you had. Because there's a big difference. And yes, people have visions that come true. Um, but you're going to have to wait until that time comes. And if it doesn't happen, what happened to all you people that were screaming about an asteroid or a comet hitting in September? When you had no proof, it was just someone's vision. You see? And you have to wait for those things to come to fruition before... The vision can hold true, and you can go back and say, oh my gosh, this guy actually called it. It was true. It was real. And then you can start to take a look at that person's validity. And if they're genuine, and if they are having visions, and popping off signs for everyone to see. But I've heard it time and time again is my point. It seems like every year there's a new cat that comes out saying there's a dark star coming in. It's going to be here by the end of the year. And it never happens. I've seen guys had thousands of people sending money, packing up their guns, heading to the Ozarks. Remember that? Just a few years ago? Because the Dark Star was coming in to Biru. I had to go on live on live radio and cut the dude down in front of everybody, asking just straight up questions. Why are the planets not perturbed? Why is Jupiter and all these other things not moving? Why are their moons not shifting? Nothing. Couldn't get an answer. They cut me off the air. And it wasn't long after that, everyone else started calling in and seen right through it and shot it down. And thankfully, we stopped a bunch of people from going to the Ozarks armed to the teeth, probably to the death. Because when you announce you've got all those people going out there and you announce it, he knew it. Everyone else seen it at that point and seen it was a huge setup, but it's dangerous. That's what some people would do out here. Just to push a story or a theory or whatever fantasy they've got in their head. But aside from the fake, there is the real situations out there that exist. Some of which they have let us know about, but then have retracted statements on. Okay? As is with the situation here with this massive object. They're saying it's 1.2 miles in diameter. This is asteroid 89959. 2002 NT7 is what I'll refer to it as. This object was classified by Don Yeomans, a scientist at NASA, as having the potential of striking Earth. Now, at first they said they had this limited number of observations on it. And they had watched this thing for some time. And they gave it that probability of an, of an impact okay, at some point in time. After all the talk got kicked up, just four days later, four days, which out of all that time you had four days of possible observations. There's no way that it had changed their calculations that much. But they're saying it did and that they do not believe they're going to rule out the possibility of it impacting Earth on February 1st, 2019. So that's the date. February 1st, 2019. But they cannot completely rule out an impact for February 1st, 2060. So 2019, February 2019, 
a time to keep an eye on with this object as it comes closer and not just because of how close it's coming and in terms of it impacting. But something this size can always jar or knock any other little object out of its orbit in space. And then those are the little problems you're going to have to deal with. Those chunks or fireballs raining down sporadically pretty much anywhere all over the planet. And you can't forget Apophis these, and these other large bodies out there that are going to be making passes by the Earth through the 2020s and 2035. You know, we're not in the clear, but you have to wonder, at, with all the stuff flying around out there, how come we're not hit more? How come we're not, the moon's not hit all the time and we're not seeing it? I think there's other forces out there at play here that they're obviously not mentioning here. I mean, you take a look at the at the belts, the Van... I forget what they call them. Van Allen? Uh, the belts to go around the planet protecting us from radiation whatever what about these belts and everything else is there a protective bubble around this planet in a sense that will penetrate things and is there technology out there on a higher level than most people could even wrap their head around that's blowing stuff up knocking things out of orbit and keeping this place safe from a distance they see something even coming into our solar system that might be on track to uh, knock out the life we have going on this one planet, um, they're going to stop it. And these are things, like I said, that are of the most secret. Because it seems to me we should be getting hit a whole lot, a whole lot more with everything that's floating out in space. But either way it goes, this object, interesting, one to make note of. And as we approach this date, I'll keep you guys posted with more info. This has been Dabu7, Eyes to the Skies.